Tonight, 10 News took the terrible details of this mother and son's final moments to an expert for insight into why their accused killer, James DiMaggio, would have ended their lives the way he did. DiMaggio then took off to Idaho with the victim's 16-year-old daughter, Hannah Anderson, before uh, he was killed by police. 10 News reporter Dan Haggerty is joining us now from the Live Center with the message that DiMaggio may have been trying to send with these crimes. Dan? Yeah, Kim, Steve, these documents are detailed, they're frightening, and they tell volumes about how these murders may have played out. The report tells in detail what detectives found on James DiMaggio's property in Boulevard and how they believe he killed his victims, Christina Anderson and her eight-year-old son, Ethan, starting with the moment a firefighter found Christina's body while putting out a small fire in the unattached garage. Her legs were bound with a white zip tie. She had duct tape covering her mouth and neck. Early reports noted a crowbar on the floor. We now know she was hit 12 times in the face and head. Both of her arms were hit too, the bones broken in her right forearm. It also says that Anderson's throat was cut through the duct tape, but investigators think this was done after she died. Details we shared with clinical psychologist Dr. Michael Mantell. It's striking that the rage he had against the mother is just unrestrained rage, um, and the plan was clear. Lastly, there's a section of findings that notes Anderson's bra had been cut, but the investigators do not elaborate. There was no other indication to anything sexual in the report. That could have been control. Uh, that could have been uh, demonstrating his dominance. Um, and it sounds a lot, lot like that. Ethan's autopsy told much less about his death. Investigators found him inside DiMaggio's house after it burned to the ground. Frankly, not much of the boy was found. The report says that no cause of death could be determined, but it also stated that there was no soot found in his lungs, possibly meaning that Ethan was already dead when the fire started, a theory that investigators have subscribed to from the beginning. And Dr. Mantell said that the rage factor, as you can probably tell, very clear in the autopsy, especially considering that uh, they say DiMaggio killed the dog, shot and killed the dog in the same room with Christina Anderson, who was clearly given no mercy. In the Live Center tonight, Dan Haggerty, 10 News.